Turtle Island Preserve comes from our native heritage, Native Americans. They often thought of our entire earth being supported by a turtle. And so the, the word for earth in native languages is, is Turtle Island. So Turtle Island is basically earth. So when we say Turtle Island Preserve, we could translate that as earth preserve. And I believe that taking care of the earth and the qualities of air, water, soil is some of the most important thing we could ever do. And unfortunately, the human beings are causing great degradation to this beautiful planet. Yeah, Turtle Island Preserve really is a magical place. It's a place where people come together and learn about the outdoors. Uh, it's a place where we just like to open people's eyes and hearts and minds. And it's a, it's a place just uh, to come and learn about the natural world and, uh, and about how we interact with it. Uh, my mission in life and Turtle Island's mission is to enrich people's lives, to just have them have a, a more meaningful and enriched life through becoming aware through our educational processes of, of sort of how they fit into the world. Well, we like to put people's hands on it. We want them to get dirty, bloody. We want them to smell it, touch it, taste it. We want them to be involved with the process, not just watch a teacher or not just watch a video. We want them to be there and do it. And we feel like that's much more meaningful and it transfers the education to a much deeper place when they can do it themselves. Oh, it just, it had a, it had a wonderful way of bringing you to the present moment of, of um, getting away from all the sound and the light pollution that is so much a part of our civilization and getting to learn and explore and see new things. We try to have a wide variety of types for different ages and sexes and this, different awarenesses, different people's willingness or readiness to get involved and get back to the basics. So we'll have anything from preschoolers to old folks and we'll have things from just trying a little bit to being extremely uh, challenged. Today we're going to do a little sawmilling. We've got some logs that we cut down from our forest here. We do selective harvesting. And so we're going to take the logs and saw them into boards and use the boards to build a building with. So it's a step-by-step -step process. Living naturally is not a push-button world. There's no buttons out here to push. Now we do lots and lots of different kinds of workshops too. Blacksmithing, uh, we do brain tanning, deer skin workshops. We do, uh, you know, working gardening, farming, all just all kinds of logging. And the list goes on and on and on and on. the most important thing is about personal growth and so we really address issues where they learn about how to grow up to be stronger, more complete, balanced, happy, healthy human beings. Being a high school machine shop instructor, uh, I can't tell you how important it is for me to, for me to disappear off into the woods and kind of collect myself and spend some time with me and, and some very near and dear people to me. Uh, we want to uh, we want to have people uh, come here and say, you know what? I can do that at my house. I can I can raise chickens in my backyard. Uh, I can live a little bit more deliberately and a little closer uh, to this natural world. And uh, our hope really is is that we're going to take better care of this planet by doing these things. When I was 17, I walked out in the forest, and I haven't turned back since. The forest is my home, so I've lived a whole life living naturally and in a way that I believe in, live in my passion. And I like sharing that passion and that way of life with other folks. And that's what Turtle Island is all about. If I can survive another month and another day, another year, uh, I hope that uh, Turtle Island will be just thriving nicely and becoming more important every day for the people of North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs>